Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna be doing a thread up unboxing. As you can see, I'm very excited. I love doing these thread up boxes. It's like a mystery box. It's always fun to see what's inside. Um, and I am excited to do this one today because we're doing shoes and it's been a while since I have ordered one of their shoe boxes. Um, usually I get pretty decent luck with their shoe boxes. Um, I just have limited storage for shoes. So I needed to sell some before I could make some room. And I finally decided it was a good time to go ahead and order a shoe box. So. Uh, we did get, uh, they just recently reduced their pricing. So I purchased this box at $80 and there's 15 pairs of shoes in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. I just cut it open. It's next to me. So I'm going to keep leaning down to get the shoes. I wish that they, let me lift this up if I can. I wish that they wrap these better because this is what it looks like inside. All the shoes are just kind of thrown in. There's a little tissue paper in there, but um, I've seen before, like sometimes they wrap the shoes individually for people, which is always nice. Cause like you get a pair of stiletto heels in there and it ruins everything. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got. All right. The first pair that I see is a pair of esp espadrille wedges from Dolce Vita. This is actually the DV by Dolce Vita, which is their lower line. I think this was sold at Target. Is that right? I can't remember. Anyway, it has like the ankle strap like that and they're actually in really good condition from what I can tell looks like they were worn and maybe only a couple of times oh there is a little bit of wear to the inside right here um let me see if it says on here I think this is all synthetic material but it doesn't feel like leather I don't see I don't see on here any indication of what it is or size oh it's a size 10 and it is actual leather so this portion of it is leather so okay well that's interesting all right trying to find some matches in here i see a bunch of singles so next we have i bet these are these are bernardo i don't know that brand but it does have our leather sole so it looks like it could be a good brand interesting i have not heard of this but i really do like the heels on these it's got kind of a circular uh block heel i guess these are a size seven and a half and they're just like a little peep toe black booty. Those are really cute. It has like a little bow right here. I really like the design. The condition looks actually pretty good. They've clearly been worn, but they're, I don't see any damage to them at all. And they're in still in pretty good condition. So I'm going to have to look up this brand. That's a new to me brand. That's why I love doing thread up boxes. I always learn uh, about new brands, things that I might not have looked up in the store, you know? Okay. Another leather sole, that is always a good, oh, these are rag and bone, oh my gosh, what? Oh, you guys, this is gonna be a good box. These are a pair of rag and bone booties. Wow, the, these are in really good condition as well. Again, you can see that they've been worn, um, but the condition is really good. So it does have a little bit of scratching right here. I'm just gonna take my Doc Martin Wonder whatever, balsam or whatever to it and clean them up. But overall, they're in really nice condition. And these are a size 38, so roughly a size eight US. That's my size, but I'm not keeping these. I am definitely gonna sell those. Those are cool. I really like those. Okay, doing pretty good so far. Okay, I see a pair of heels. These are a pair of Anne Klein. Those are quite bright, <laughs> or not bright, but just like blingy. There we go, that's the word I was looking for. Anne Klein, seven and a half, and they do have leather soles, so they are good quality. And actually, they look like they've barely been worn because usually the leather will show wear really fast. So these look like they maybe were worn once. Now they do have some insoles that were put in, so I'm gonna have to try to get those out, um, but they're, in really good condition other than that. So they do have kind of a embossed, like snake embossed um, print on them. I think those are pretty cool. They could probably sell. All right, next up we have a pair of Adidas sneakers. These look really small. I wonder if these are youth size. I'm trying to see. They're, um, <laughs> they're actually not a youth size, but they are size three and a half which is really small. I did not know they made a three and a half in adult sizes, but how cute are these? I'm actually gonna see if my daughter, who is a child, <laughs> I'm gonna see if my uh, daughter would fit these because she probably would really like them, but they might actually even be too small for her. So anyway, um, but yeah, those are in great condition. Again, look at that. They don't look like they were worn. I don't think these were wor worn at all. They're in fantastic condition. So I'm excited about those. 
Next, we have a pair of loafers. These are like a penny loafer from J. Crew, and they are just kind of a tan color leather. These look, I wonder if these are vintage. It's hard to tell. Um, they do have like a, it's not really damaged, but they just have this kind of really worn look on the back. But I don't know if that was like distressed almost. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know, they kind of look vintage to me. So I don't know, I'll have to look them up. There's the bottoms of them. They're size eight and they do have the leather sole again. So, okay. Not mad about that. So far, this box is really good. I'm trying, I'm trying not to peek ahead, but I keep seeing good shoes down there. Um, and pair, uh, another pair of espadrilles. This time, these are Michael Kors. They're Michael by Michael Kors. Um, these look like they're in great condition. They're kind of a cream color, um, like, what do you call this? Almost like a burlap. It's like a thicker canvas material with the zip up the front. And these are size, what size are you? That's always the trickiest part. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. It is a size seven and a half. Again, these barely look worn. So there's like no toe prints or anything. So that's good. Next, we have a pair of pumps and these are by Tahari. Um, again, a leather sole. I got a lot of leather sole. That's always a good sign of quality. And I don't see a size on these, but here's what they look like. They're like a Mary Jane. I like the chunky heel. These remind me of like the dark academia. I'm not not seeing a size on these guys. So I'm gonna have to investigate these further later because I am not seeing any size. So we'll have to keep, keep searching. Okay, next we have, um, oh, okay. So this is just a little pair of like slip on sandal things. Very strappy, kind of an olive green. And the brand is Rock Candy by Ziggy. It's not, not a good brand. Um, it's probably, I don't even know if these are worth listing to be honest with you, um, but they are a really cute little sandal. Just, you can feel the quality isn't very good. All right, next we have, oh, okay. Time and True, so this is Walmart brand. They are a really cute style though. It's like a little loafer. I might actually set these aside and try bringing them to Play-Dohs next time I go there. Um, they're size seven, condition is really good. Barely worn, they're cute. I like the platform kind of heel or platform on the bottom there. So they're a good style, just not a great brand for resale. Okay, next we have a pair of Cole Haan. And these are the Nike Air Kohan. So it's kind of a leopard print. It's got a small little wedge there, but almost a flat. And yeah, there's the bottom of those. Great condition again. Let me see if I can find a size on these ones. It has a Velcro attachment here, so that's a little different. That's always tricky with shoes. I That's the thing I don't like about getting these shoe boxes is it's sometimes hard to find a size. Oh, okay. Is that an insert? I'm trying to see. There's like, it looks like there's an insert on the back. Yeah. Someone put a little insert on the back here. I bet that's covering the size up. So I'll have to get some like goo gone and try to get those off. Another pair of sandals. I've heard of this brand. I can't remember if this is a good brand or not. Okay, so the brand is Joseph Sabil. I feel like I just recently looked this up at the thrift. Um, anyways, it's a pair of sandals again, kind of a tan leather sandal, and it does have like a little bit of a wedge to the back there. Here's the bottoms. They've been worn, but not, not a lot. And I don't, there's the brand right here. They are leather. And the size is a 38, size 38. So I'm gonna have to look this up again because I cannot remember if they're good or not. Next, what are these? These are Nike Court. Okay, you guys might remember me saying this before, but I am not good at sneakers. It's kind of a category I avoid when I'm in the thrift store. I go right past sneakers usually because um, I just don't know enough about them. But these say, zoom on the front and zero that's what that says it's hard to read because it's like silver on white um there is some like dirt it's like dirty a little bit so it'll need a little cleaning but the condition's good i don't see like any wearing or like tears or anything like that just some dirt just needs a quick wipe down basically um 
I believe these are men's. It's hard to tell, honestly. I don't know. Oh, here's a size. US size nine. So <laughs> this is the nice thing about having a VA. So I normally would hate listing something like this because it takes a lot of research for me because I just don't know what I'm looking for. But all I have to do is snap some photos and I'm going to let my VA from Hammock do the rest of that research for me because that's a uh, those look cool. I bet that those do have some value. I just don't know enough about them. Oh, okay. Here's another one I might set aside for Play-Dohs because these are a really cute style, but they are just forever 21. So they're just like a lace-up booty with the open heel and an open toe. And they're in great condition. What size? I don't, I don't see a size right off the bat, but I'll probably just set these aside for Play-Dohs anyways. I'm not going to bother listing those. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got a little pair of slip on toms what's really funny is actually my daughter had these exact same shoes in a different size these are size seven um which i just recently listed and they're identical to these so i might just go ahead and update that listing with a multi-quantity um they're in pretty good condition there's some you know wear to them but overall good condition the toes look good so i'm just gonna do that they're not worth a lot i think i listed them around 20 dollars or something but all i have to do is update the listing so that'll be easy all right, I'm gonna count and make sure we got 15. So one. Okay, so the baby woke up right as I was finishing that, but I wanted to tell you guys, there were 15 pairs exactly, and just between uh, the Rag and Bone booties and the, um, the brand that I didn't know, now I can't remember it, um, just between those two, I'll be able to make my money back, and then the rest will be profit. So it was definitely a good box. I'm really happy with it. And I'll definitely be buying more in the future. Probably not a shoe box again right away. Because like I said, I have limited shoe storage in my storage area. So probably do a clothing one next. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.